So Alpha Logic, they're building three 2,500 horsepower cars. This one's gonna be like the T1, Tony's car, and then they've got pretty much a Alpha G Giddy, and this one's gonna be like the white car, so similar to Tony's car. 2,500 horsepower, three different builds, all going at the same time. Not something you see in the States. Is that your, yeah. your job? All these are on boat side. That's what I prefer. But a lot of our lower perspective stuff can be called. So are you it's building this for drag, roll, both? Uh, this customer, well, now he's an owner, half owner of the shop. He's more interested in the guitar mile, so yeah. half mile racing. But we are also drag racing. Yeah. Just a few weeks after visiting Alpha Logic in Dubai, they took their car to the drag strip, the white one and they made one hell of a pass. put them at the second quickest GTR in the world because it was a few days before Giddy ran its first six at TX2K this weekend. And then this past Saturday, just a few days after running that quarter mile pass, they went to the Qatar Mile, which is a half mile event, and ran this. on their second ever half mile pass on the Alpha Logic car, they are now officially the world's fastest half mile car. And that puts them just ahead of Richard Fowler, who set the half mile record last year in September. And with his underground racing Lamborghini Huracan X package, he was about a mile an hour slower than their pass. And then Richard had taken the uh, record from Giddy. We saw him in Colorado at Pikes Peak Airstrip Attack in his underground racing Super Leggera X package. He was at a 240 mile an hour pass. So we have no idea what Alpha Logic has in store for the car. They're getting towards the end of their racing season. It's about to get really hot over the Middle East. Uh, but the racing season is just getting started here. So we might be seeing some 250 mile an hour passes here very shortly. 